eventually want to get rid of most banks. Now, the, the big ones are too big to fail. But in the end, the ultimate objective is to essentially wipe all of the banks out so that your bank will be the Federal Reserve. Everything will be centralized. And again, this is not really about the money, although, of course, it is. This is about power and control, mm -hmm. because the government, such as it is, will have access to all of the information related to every single transaction you make. You buy a stick of gum, the government will know. You buy a new car, the government will know. Oh, you bought the wrong car. You didn't buy an EV. Now you're going to get penalized. So in the end, Sean, this is really a move toward a CCP-style social credit system. And they're using this move to a central bank digital currency as the biggest lever to try to get us there. It's important to note that, that uh, other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin is decentralized. This will be centralized within the government. Bitcoin is a is a, uh, a technology for freedom. This is a technology for control. I mentioned this to you before. I brought my I brought my prop. I got a twenty dollar bill. I can use this twenty dollar bill however I choose for for meat, for guns, for even illicit purposes. But when the government controls the dollar, they can control as as the as a. Uh, as we talked about in the report, whether you can buy a firearm, how much gas you can buy, how much electricity you can buy, can you buy meat or do you have to buy bug-based meat? They can control everything that you purchase with a digital dollar and whether you can purchase anything.